morning, everybody. It's a sunshiny day here in Northern Ontario. We're on our way home. We got all day today and a little bit tomorrow yet. And this trip will be over. We started at home. We went down to Cranford, New Jersey, and then Hapog, New York, up to Ontario and Quebec, back down to Ontario, now through Northern Ontario, back to home. I'll put a nice little map up here so you can see our journey since I left home last. I'm looking forward to getting there and seeing the family. Old Blue is ready to go. Truck is ready to go. I'm dropping my keys all over the place here. I'm gonna go grab a coffee. I'm gonna hit the road. It's gonna be a long day today. I'm gonna try to use up my whole drive time, which is about 13 hours. Liquid life. Start the day. 1,634 kilometers to home. That's about 1,000 miles. Won't make it today. On a good day out on the highway out west, I can get over 1,200 kilometers done in a day. Maybe sometimes close to 1,300, depending where I am and if everything smooths, ju sails just smoothly or smooths just sailing, as I was about to say. But we're going through Northern Ontario, so I can't run as fast. I can probably get a thousand kilometers done, maybe 1100. I don't think we're gonna make it to Dryden. 1100 from here would still leave me with over 500 kilometers, and Dryden, I believe, is about 350 from home. Ontario. Across from Sault Ste. Marie, I think it's Michigan. Just at the U.S. border. We're not going to the U.S. though. I'm going to swing by Flying J in town and top up my tanks. I don't really need to fuel up yet, but this is the cheapest fuel going through Northern Ontario for me on this trip. obviously cheaper there too so we'll just fuel up uh, it'll be a little bit here not too much just enough to get us through northern Ontario we still have 1380 kilometers to get back home what is that like 900 miles something like that we haven't gone too far today yet I have another 10 hours available to me to drive We've only been out here for three hours. Long way to go.
problem. That's gonna be a little fun for a little while. My cruise control button, my set and resume button broke on me. It's not working anymore. So I ordered a new one already. I'll get it replaced as soon as I can. But for this trip through Northern Ontario, I've got no cruise control. It's a pretty simple fix. It's just you unplug this one. You gotta take the dash apart a little bit. Then you unplug the old one, plug the new one in, bada bing, bada boom, you're all set. It takes a little bit of time, that's all. I ordered one, so hopefully it'll be ready for me when I get when I get back, or hopefully it'll be there when I get back already. Quickly switch that out. But it'll make for an interesting day today as I got another 10 hours to go and no cruise control. Gonna have to be very careful and watch my speed carefully. to get anything here so I'm just gonna grab fuel and go you become so used to using cruise control over the years that when it doesn't work suddenly <laughs> things get interesting we're just leaving here now just grab fuel and I'm going no stopping no going in no nothing and go. I'll be fine without cruise. I mean, it's got to pay a little bit closer attention. Can't use cruise a lot of the time going through the hills of Northern Ontario anyway. You got to constantly shift as you're going up and down the hill. So it's not that bad. Hopefully the park will be there waiting for me at home when I get there tomorrow. But I might have to go on one more trip without it. That's okay. We'll just have an old school trip that way. No cruise control, the way it used to be. Nothing but just the sound and the feel of the truck to tell you how fast you're going. And the speedometer, of course. But I mean, you can't stare at your speedometer non-stop all day. I mean, you gotta watch where you're going, right? So you begin to... Uh, learn to hear where your engine is and feel how fast you're going and feel the truck sort of estimate how fast you are as long as you're not going too fast right
and foggy. I hope that this doesn't uh, continue. This came on pretty quick. Pretty much came around the corner and pow! We were in a cloud. I don't even know where we are. Some kind of town. I've been following this guy in front of me for like five hours. He's been running at a really good speed. So I've just been matching his speed and keeping up with him. Not following too close, but we've been going non-stop for a while. I missed the town. Terrace Bay. There it is on the right. Terrace Bay, Ontario. This is where the, the cloud is. Apparently it's just as soon as you got into town. It was clear skies and sun shining like five minutes ago. I was getting all annoyed at it because the sun was right in my eyes. Now there's a cloud. I wonder if that's fog that comes in off the lake. Because just off to our left is Lake Ontario. I believe, no, Lake Superior, sorry. Lake Superior. So maybe that's where that all comes off of. This guy's gonna keep going. I hope so. He's been a good guy to run with. It's rare that you find someone who's actually going a good speed through here and not either way too slow or way too fast. And there hasn't been any other traffic on the road. Very little. Very little. They're all either running at the exact same speed as us and we're not catching them and they're not catching us. Or there's no one on the road today. Times lately. 
I'm not stopping here for night yet. I'm just stopping in for a little break, maybe a coffee or something, grab a bite to eat, and then we'll be back on the road. I don't want to get further yet. I have another three hours and 16 minutes available to me to drive. What's this guy doing here? Just parked in the middle of, middle of nowhere. We made it to Ignis, Ontario. Drove altogether about 12 and a half hours today. And this is where we're going to park tonight. Have about another five hours to drive tomorrow to get home. Altogether, we made it around uh, just under 1,200 kilometers or should have done this math before I picked up the camera, right? Always forget. I always forget. I speak in metric. Uh, 745 miles, so under 750 miles. I shouldn't say I speak in metric. We're Canadian. We have a mix. When you're talking about distance to get somewhere, we speak in kilometers. But if you speak in weight, officially, officially Canada speaks in kilograms. But realistically, all of us Canadians, we speak in pounds. For measurements, for shorter distances, we speak in inches and feet. Like how tall am I? I'm five foot ten. I don't say that I'm a hundred and whatever centimeters or meters that nobody talks like that that I know of. Not around my area anyway. It's a mixture because we used to be just like the US, right? We used to use the exact same measurements. And then at some point in the past, Someone thought it would be a great idea to switch us over to metric. And I don't mind that they did. I kind of like it this way that we sort of have a blend of both. Because uh, everywhere else in the world uses metric. And when it comes to long distances, metric makes sense. You know, there's 10 centimeters in a decimeter. Decimeter. <laughs> there's 100 centimeters in a meter. There's 100 meters in a kilometer. It all, it's all even numbers, whereas in miles, it's like how many feet are in a mile? Well, 5,280. It's random. You know, how many inches are in a foot? 12. How many feet are in a yard? Three. Am I right about that? Three feet in a yard, right? Correct me if I'm wrong down below. So, I'm not saying that measurement system's not as good, I'm just saying, I like using, I, I like both of them. When it comes to distances and time driven, I use metric. It's also easier for me to tell how long it's gonna take me to go somewhere because I travel usually at around 100 kilometers an hour. So when I have 250 kilometers to go in a day, I can tell, oh yeah, two and a half hours, right? But if I have 250 miles left to go in a day, I travel at an average of 62 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. Well, now I gotta be like, okay, 250 divided by six, four and a bit, four hours and a bit. It's just an extra step, right? So much easier for me anyways. But that, that, that's the reason why I use metric in my videos. I try to use, I try to use both measurements though so that everybody can understand what I'm talking about. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best here. Uh, hopefully you guys can all sort of get, get what I'm trying to say. So thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. I appreciate it. It was a long day of driving, and tomorrow will be a bit of a shorter day, but we get to go home tomorrow, and I am really looking forward to that. So I hope you join me. If you made it this far in the video, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, it's free down below. My videos are always free to watch here on the internet. You can tag along with me. You can go back and watch my videos back 12, 13 years. I've been making videos every day for a long time. You can follow my whole journey through my career here. And uh, if you really, really like my channel and you want to go one step further, uh, you can always join as a member by clicking the Join Now button down below my video or on my main page. Uh, there's two tiers of membership there. You can either get a special little badge beside your comment uh, with the lowest tier there so that your comments stick out. They also get sent to a separate folder so I see them first. Or you can go with the, uh, the other one and you get early access to all of my videos up to a week early sometimes early access, you get special access to members only content, and it's for the price of like a coffee, uh, about, about the price of a coffee per month, and you can cancel it anytime.
But other than that, the videos will always be free to watch. The best thing you can do is just hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button and the bell. And that does wonders for my channel already. Thank you for sharing it with your friends. Please stay safe out there. Drive safe. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll see you tomorrow.